تعانق دمعة الفكر تناجي الله في صبر وترجو رحمة تسري فعاش القلب إخلاصا وصرت تحومك الطير تحلق في ثقافات وتنهل من روب الخير Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh brothers and sisters and dear friends and uh, family should I say, we are one big family. Uh, so today's video is going to be about me and my intentions, the intentions problems that I had, uh, for example, when I started the dawah, the YouTube, uh, for example, when I'm on pub, uh, public platforms, when I'm giving, for example, talks, um, how I battled with my intentions and how I fought it and tried to better myself in the best ways possible. So I thought I'll share it with you guys because a lot of people go through these intention problems and sometimes we don't understand um, the matter of intentions, we really don't understand it, you know, because, um, which I will, which I'll touch upon. So basically, brothers and sisters, when I got into the Dawah scene, the YouTube or whatever it is, they start, to be honest, I wasn't really, I didn't have it planned out that I'm going to do videos. I, I didn't, me and cameras were not made for each other, but uh, as you can see, they are my first love uh, from now on. Uh, so basically, um, I got into it, etc. And one of the biggest problems that I had when I got into the matter of uh, YouTube and the videos is, for example, one of the first things was, uh, for example, obviously, why am I doing what I'm doing? You know, am I doing it for the sake of Allah? Am I doing it for fame? Am I doing it for this or that? Yeah, this is certain things that I had to question myself. And I'm just being, I want to be honest with you guys so you guys can understand and see how I battled it. Because I didn't know I'm a human being and obviously I've uh, seen this kind of stuff. So I'm going to share with you guys. So the first thing was basically when I got there, I needed to know why I'm doing what I'm doing. So I questioned myself and I said, look, the youth have issues out there. The, uh, the zina is a problem, alcohol, gambling, drugs, gang, etc, etc. These are problems. And these are problems that I want to help the youth in. Do you get it? Because I come from a, a jahiliya and, um, and I've seen these kind of stuff. Do you get what I'm trying to say? Even though alhamdulillah I've stayed away from alcohol, drugs and certain things. But nightlife, clubbing and I don't mean it to exposing myself. But I've seen it. I've seen the damages that it brings. So seeing that, I want to convey it to my brothers and my sisters and friends uh, uh, in humanity to basically abstain from this stuff. So I knew why I wanted to do what I wanted to do. When it came to dawah, dawah is something that I loved because at the end of the day I was lost. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guided me and obviously we know the Prophet ﷺ said indeed none of you truly believe in until you love for yourself what you love for your brother. So because we have Islam, we believe Islam is something really amazing for all of us. So we want to share it. So that's why I knew why I was doing. So I questioned myself and I understood and I said, okay, alhamdulillah, my intentions are good. Now, what, just because the intentions are good at the beginning doesn't mean it's going to carry on like that to the end. Because along the way you get bombs, this, that shaitan's on your case. Because if he sees you doing something beneficial, inshallah Allah accepts it from us, he will be on our cases. So uh, with me, one of the things that I struggled with is, for example, releasing videos. At the beginning, alhamdulillah, when we have uh, videos that are reaching 5, 10,000 views, we are happy that those amount of people are benefiting. But as time went by, shaitan will start to get to me and be like, okay, I would have moments where... I will check a certain video and the shaitan will make me feel like oh, what, only 5,000 views or 10,000 views? So what was happening was I was starting to realise why am I concentrating more on the views? You get it? So what it is, is it's about reflecting upon it. You know, you can't say, okay, oh my gosh, I'm a bad person for thinking like that. No, you're a human being. You're going to think of certain stuff with intentions wise. You get it? So I understood that problem and I said, okay, what can I do to stop that? So once I realized that and I said, okay, um, uh, because what happens is, again, that makes you, when you look at the views, in my head, I was thinking, okay, need to do this video better or this. And I was thinking, hold on a second, hold on a second. Why am I trying to do this or that to make a video better or reach further? No, 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 no. So I realized the problem and I said, how can I deal with this? So I had my way of saying, you know what, from now on, I don't care. There's a lot of YouTubers go through this as well. You know, like specifically from as Muslims, this is wrong. We should not have this mentality. We do our videos so people can benefit. So basically, I understood and I said, you know what? I don't care if I put it. I set myself on my brain and I made a dua to Allah for Him to help me and purify my intentions. I said, I'm doing this video because it needs to be done. It's got. It's got to be done. I don't care if it, if 500 people watch it, a thousand people. That's it. From that moment on, I understood the problem and I found a solution. And I said, look. I don't care if it's 10,000, uh, 5,000, 3,000 views, I don't care anymore. I'm doing a video that needs to be done, I put it out there, I leave it. I don't care. So, uh, alhamdulillah, I battled that within uh, those uh, techniques and tactics that I used. And alhamdulillah, um, I've come over that. Uh, and all praises and glory belong to Allah. The second thing that I, um, <coughs> the second thing that I had an issue was with, for example, 
um, my video, you know, uh, the black Israelites, the, the, um, the black Jews, Dao to black Jews, which you can see in this corner. When I was doing this video, and this is something that I uh, want to share with you guys, is that day I wanted to get a haircut, like, like you know, haircut, um, you know, look nice. But then I came to a realization of why, um, why do I want to get a haircut and why, like, what, for what? Am I doing the video because the video needs to be done and they need dawah and so people can watch the video and be benefited? Or am I doing the video just to look good? For what? So, and this doesn't mean just because, oh, you want to look good, means your intentions are wrong. No. But at that specific moment of time, I thought to myself, no. For me, to, I, I knew my intentions were like not to look good, this, that. But for me to have that doubt and think, okay, why did I, why am I doing that? I, the way I battled it is, this is me, this is personal, I said, I'm not going to get a haircut that day. I'm going to go looking raggo, like, like, whatever, I don't care. So I went that day, specific day, and I just did the video as it is, I didn't get my haircut. See, this is a way of battling your intention. Do you get what I'm trying to say? Because you're understanding the problem, and just to prove a point to yourself and to, to, to others one side that, look, it's not about how I look or this, that. do you get what I'm trying to say? So what I did was, I went there, I didn't get a haircut, I didn't go and just wear like this clothes. And once again, I repeated, this doesn't mean that on my videos, I do try to look good in a way to be presentable, not in a way of, oh, let the people, do you get what I'm trying to say? None of that. So Alhamdulillah, that was the second problem that I had and this is how I dealt with it. And this is what you can use as well, which I will come to inshallah. Now, the third thing is when I'm out in public, um, uh, People approach me, alhamdulillah, they like the stuff that we do, me, Imran, brother Oyon, brother Musa, they like the stuff that we do, so they just come, want to take a picture. This is one of the things that is really hard, because when people come to you, shaitan is on your case. When people come and approach me and say, can I take a picture, this, that, shaitan will come and make you feel like you're something special. One of the ways that I found a way of combating this, and this relates to exactly when I'm giving a talk, is before I start my talk and I've realized wherever I am on TV, camera, whatever it is, I like to start my talk by saying all oh, praises, glory and gratitude belong to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Everything that we do, we do it with His permission. So this helped me to reassure myself and the person opposite me. So when somebody comes and says to me, Aki, I watch your videos, I say, may Allah bless you, Aki, make dua for me. All oh, praises and glory belong to Allah, Aki. You know, do you get what I'm trying to say? So this was a way of me to convey it to him and say, look, Aki, all praises and glory belong to Allah. Because if it's not with his permission, Ali Dawa, Dawa man, Oyon man, or Musa man, we are nothing. We are nobody. Do you get it? So this was, alhamdulillah, a really good way. Now, I know a lot of brothers out there, they say, okay, I have intentions from this, that, so I want to stop doing videos or stop doing Dawa. No, Aki, because at the end of the day, this is my advice to you. If you're in the Dawa scene, yeah, there's... Shaitan's going to be on your case all the time. If Shaitan sees you doing something beneficial, he's going to try to stop, stop you from doing that. Now, at the same time, that can be a test from Allah to you. So you just can't say, okay, I'll give up. Hey, I'm not stop. No, 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 no. You battle it. You fight it. Just the way I gave you a few examples of how I do it, you have to battle it and try to, you know, um, uh, try to, you know, uh, figure out ways of overcoming that. Instead of saying, oh, I give up, white flag. No, 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 you have to battle it, inshallah, you know. And one of the things that really I remind myself of is, as you know, the first three people are going to enter the hellfire is the one who read the Quran, the one who gave in charity, and the one who fought in the way of Allah. These are the first people that's going to enter the hellfire. Listen to me carefully. This is a hadith that really makes me think and reflect and purifies my intention. I remind myself of that every time. The first one is when Allah calls him and says, what have you done for me? Come here. Oh Allah, I read the Quran for you. Yeah, he's going to say, you are lying. You read the Quran so people can say, you know the deen, you're a knowledgeable person. Go to the hellfire. Number two, the one is going to say, come here, what did you do for me? Oh Allah, I gave a charity in your wealth in abundance and all my wealth. Allah is going to say, you're lying. You did it so people can say you're a generous man. So you didn't do it for my sake. You did it so people can say, oh, you're this or that. So Allah said, take him to the hellfire. The third man is the one who fought in the way of Allah. Allah is going to say, what have you done? I've done this and that. He's going to say, you're lying. You did it so they can say you are a brave man. So these are the first three people that's going to enter the hellfire, brothers and sisters. So this really makes me try to purify my intentions as much as possible and deal with it. So these were the main three problems that I had. And another problem was basically, um, you know, uh, having special effects with these kind of stuff on my videos. Me personally, I found that to be affecting my intentions. So due to that, uh, you know, like, you know, making the videos, due to that, I try my best to not have no special effects or this, it's personal to me. It's just something for I'll share with you guys. Now, 
I hope you guys have benefited from what I'm saying to you and I don't want to finish there is we really need to understand our intentions because we have a narration from the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam from Umar ibn Khattab where he says that every intention is based uh, sorry, every uh, action that you do is based on his intentions if I'm migrating from here to Scotland and if it's for the sake of Allah, I will get rewarded accordingly to that but if I am leaving here to go to Scotland because there's a marriage proposal and I want to get married then my uh, intentions are for something else even though you can make your intentions for that to be for the sake of Allah you can say, oh Allah, I'm going to Scotland to get married to complete half my deen and keep away from fitna Alhamdulillah, you can do that so do you get what I'm trying to say? and this is really important and uh, there is a saying which I am not 100% sure that uh, one of the uh, uh, um, scholars uh, back in the time said that the greatest thing that I have dealt with is my intentions, fighting my intentions constantly is the biggest battle that I have had um, so basically brothers and sisters when you are wearing the hijab right, obviously not brothers, sisters and brothers when you're growing your beard or whatever it may be if your intentions are for the wrong reason let me grow my beard so I can look nice let me wear my hijab because I want to look nice you need to understand that you, are, you will not be getting rewarded for that on the day of judgment, if you come to Allah and say, Oh Allah, I grew my beard, or uh, for example, my hijab for you, Allah will say, No, you did it because you wanted to look good, you wanted to look nice. You know, you did it because of a fashion ac uh, accessory. You grew, you grew your beard so you can look nice to the opposite gender. So, what's going to happen is you're getting no rewards. So you really need to understand and purify intentions. Why am I wearing my hijab? Why am I growing my beard? Why am I giving da'wah? Why am I nice to people? Why, obviously you should be nice to people, yeah, anyways. But I'm saying for the sake of Allah. So your intentions should be on point. Otherwise, your deeds, your actions, nullified. They don't mean nothing, you know? They don't mean nothing at all. So brothers and sisters, this is about it from me. Hope you guys have benefited, inshallah. And like I said, once again, that's the way I battled my intentions. Inshallah, you guys have benefited. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant every single one of you guys Jannah and all praises, glory, and gratitude belong to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I am nothing, I am nobody, and I don't mean in a way to be humble. We are nobody. We do what we do for the sake of Allah as much as we can. Your intentions are never, ever going to be 100%. Never. Try to battle them. Uh, battle them inshallah uh, that's about it from me have a, a beautiful day inshallah i'm gonna have a couple of videos at the end uh, if you're in a haram relationship and you want to leave your boyfriend or your girlfriend watch the uh, videos at the end inshallah um, that's about it Shoop, 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 shoop